Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a very special, very powerful reading for you. Now, this is a new moon solar eclipse that will not be seen again for another eight years. So I'm very excited to be doing this reading. If it resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This, this cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Ooh. So these two right here. We have the King of Wands, so, and we have the Two of Wands. There's, we need to be mindful of a door being opened by kind of the negative energy of this time. We have the moon in Aries, we have the sun in Aries. This could be a time where anger gets us very far. It can, it can be a time where anger and kind of a bullying mentality can serve us very, very well. We need to be mindful of that. I know that's not anything that anybody wants to hear, but yeah, it is going to serve us very well. It can also be that there is somebody in our lives that is very bullying, very angry, and that could be serving them very well. And we need to be mindful about that as well, especially if they're fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. So let's see the message from spirit, angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides. Here we have manifest. So just like Leo, okay? And if you're born on the cusp with Leo, know or you have strong Leo in your chart. Oh my gosh, is your ability to manifest going to be just like off the chart during this time? But even if you don't have any Leo in your chart, manifestation and you, whatever you think about, whatever you're focusing on, you will be able to manifest. You will be able to bring into your life. Maybe not right away, but you, you definitely are profoundly gifted during this time. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Ooh, okay. You see that? Well, I hope so. Okay. So what we have here is we have the devil. We have the queen of cups reversed. We have the Hierophant, we have the Tower Reverse, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Four of Pentacles. So there's some vampiric energy coming forward. There's also a huge change that we're releasing from our lives. We're going to have a hard time connecting with what we truly love. There can also be, the Spirit is also saying we can have a hard time connecting with Mother Energy. I don't know what that means exactly, but there that that is a message for someone. The devil is ruled by Saturn. It can make us very work oriented, very focused, very, you know, rule oriented. It can also make us need to be mindful of addictions, drugs, alcohol, sex, food, you know, shopping, those type of addictions, but also, you know, self-doubt, negative self-talk, anxiety, not sleeping well, not taking care of ourselves, those type of addictions as well. So let's talk about this moon for a minute because it really is 
and this solar eclipse because it really is quite extraordinary. We will not see this again for another eight years. And this is called a hybrid eclipse. It is very rare. Only 3% of all eclipses are a hybrid eclipse. So this is really, really fun. Now, when we are talking about this time, the new moon is in 29 degrees of Aries. And when we have a moon in, you know, less than 30 degrees, 30 degrees and less, this is going to intensify Aries energy. So that's why we need to just be a little bit mindful of this because when it intensifies it, yes, it brings us a powerful, you know, energy for making new starts and, you know, making things happen. But we need to be aware of the angry warlike side of Aries wanting to take over. We need to really focus on keeping our energy vibration high, keeping our thoughts positive, keeping ourselves positive, and focusing on our courage, our bravery, our independence, our individuality, and really pushing ourselves forward. Because this is a time where we can hold grudges for the rest of our lives, like seriously, or people can hold grudges for the rest of their lives. If we decide to be angry, or I'm saying we in a collective consciousness of the world, we can be angry forever. I'm just like done that's it. I'm just going to live here forever. And I don't know. I hate anger. I feel it is a, a worthless emotion. It, it's not emotion. Like it's not a worthless emotion, but it's a worthless place to live forever because, or to live because it just drains us. It drains us so much. This new moon and solar eclipse also bring a strong questioning energy to us. Now we're not going to want to question too much because we have the devil here. We have the Capricorn energy of these are the rules and this is how it's done. But the questioning energy is what is my life purpose? You know, am I on the right track? Where, where am I going? Is this it? You know, type of thing. And if we are sensitive, this could be making us very sad and very overwhelmed. So be aware of this. So this solar eclipse and all solar eclipses, well, all eclipses bring with it a sense of a wild card energy, but this eclipse especially brings this wild card energy that will affect our timeline that will affect us, propel us forward, because something out of the blue will come and be pushing us in a direction that we just didn't expect. Also, the solar eclipse is conjunct the North Lunar Node. And this is very positive. It jumpstarts us into our future, into the place that we want to be, need to be, desire to be. The solar eclipse also brings strong endings that open up new beginnings. Doors will close. And we will feel this very profoundly all the way to May 5th with the lunar eclipse. So this is a very, 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 very powerful time. I feel like I should say very again. And not one that we'll see again soon. So just be aware of it. We have the devil here. The devil is being very earthly energy oriented. And that's going to be true for us. We're going to be very earthly energy oriented. We're going to be looking at what needs to be done, what needs to be acquired, how do we need to move forward, where do we need to be. We also need to be kind of aware of consequences of things, not obsess, because we can also have a bit of obsessive energy around consequences. But we need to be aware of the consequences of things. Every action has a positive or negative reaction, and that's just going to be profound for us during this time. Be aware of addictions doubts, fears, negativities, hurts, pains, disappointments. They can tend to want to drag us down a little bit more. It's very interesting that the devil is a conglomerate of, you know, nature gods, right? In uh, pagan pantheons that were, were taken by Christianity and said, okay, this is bad. And so nature isn't controlled. And the devil, you know, we want to control what almost is uncontrollable, you know, which is like, the chaos element of life. So be aware of this. That's going to be a very profound energy around us. We want to control what isn't controllable. It brings us, I'm not saying like our addictions are uncontrollable, but nature gods, nature, the fact that, you know, if, if you ever watch those shows, what was it like if all humans were off the earth, how long would it take for nature to take over? And it's, it's not that long at all. It's kind of like why we always have to weed the flower beds type of thing. It brings us to the queen of cups. I do see an issue with the mother energy coming forward, okay? Or even being mothering. Just, just be aware of that during this time. There is also a sense of how do I lead forward with my heart, with what I love, with what I want. 
And there can be a questioning of that. Like I can't, I have to be so practical. I can't embrace what I love. So that's, that's, that's a tough thing to feel because we need to embrace our hearts. We do, but we have a hard time with that. You know, Virgo, we just, we just do, we're going to be questioning things and looking like, is this right? Is this wrong? We want answers. We want absolutes. And that's why we're going to be really leaning towards the devil energy of, I want absolutes, you know, Capricorn energy ruled by Saturn. I want absolutes. And we have a fear of the natural flow of things. And that's going to be something we're made to face during this time. The Hierophant comes forward. This is strong Taurus energy. Okay. But this is also strong rules and orders. And this is the way that it's done energy. And so that's going to be very powerful for us. There's a sense of I'm stepping into this power, this grace, this understanding, this place that I need to be. And things have fallen apart. Things have fallen apart. And I, I see it as a, like a very interesting way. I didn't expect this type of thing. And that's what I'm seeing from spirit. Like I didn't expect this. It's like, okay, you know, what did you expect? What did you need? What did you want? What are you, what are you looking for? We've gone through the tower. We've gone through profound change. It could have been heartbreaking. You know, it's, it's change that leaves our lives not the same afterwards. So a lot of people see it as heartbreaking change, but it doesn't have to be, you know, the tower is also getting married and realizing, wow, I have to figure out how to live with this person. Or now we're married and that has changed things. Having a child can be a tower time as well. So being aware of that is going to be very important with it reversed. It's like I'm building, I'm building a structure strong and profound. This can be moving past negativities, hurts and pains and disappointments and saying, okay, that part of my life done. I'm now moving forward. And that's, that's absolutely brilliant. We have strong queen of swords energy here. This is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The cups is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So we can also be having a problem with a water sign energy. There's a strong sense of knowing our voice cutting through doubts and fears and negativity. We're embracing the sacred feminine. We're also having a bit of difficulty embracing the sacred feminine and truly trusting our hearts. There's a lot of nonsense that we're cutting through. There can also be somebody in our lives that tends to just be a very plain speaker, like very straight shooter type of person. Like, I'm just going to say it like it is, cut through the nonsense. They can be a bit blunt, which some people can be kind of like offended or taken aback by this person, but it's it's a sense of this needs to be said and I'll be the one to say it type of thing. There's also an energy around you here, Virgo, of this needs to be said and I'll be the one to say it. Like I need to move forward this way, but it's mostly self-taught talk. You are ruled by Mercury. And so it's very important to you to say and express and and gain an understanding of what you want, how you want to move forward and where it is that you need to be for you. With the four of pentacles, this is vampiric energy. This is energy and it can be, you know, around an air sign energy, but it can also be around what has been said, you know, vampiric energy, things that can't be forgotten. And that's why spirit is saying here, be very mindful of, of the Aries energy, like the raw Aries energy that comes forward because when we lose our tempers, and this is why I don't like losing my temper at all. It's like, we can't take back what we say. We can say things that are just very hurtful and hateful. And here with the four of pentacles, it's like, beware of vampiric energy that is trying to pull you back. Beware the negativity that we've listened to that doesn't really have a reason to be listened to in our lives, All right? And it's, it's held on for too long. We're also severing the cord. We're cutting the cord with that, but we're going to be facing some truths around the negativity. And it's like, I'm releasing that. I'm letting that go. I, I'm not having that in my existence anymore. It brings us to the moon angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly Ooh, goodness. angels and spirit guides angels and spirit guides show me clearly Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides. Interesting. Okay. So we're starting here. With, like, we really want things to be ordered and structured. And this is a time of things not being ordered and structured, of like, 
I can do this. I'm pushing forward. I'm going after it. But here we have abundance and then we have, we have abundance reversed and we have, have faith in your dreams. We don't feel abundant. We don't feel like we have faith in our dreams. We want everything to be certain. And it's like, well, maybe it's time to give up. Maybe it's time to walk away. Spirit saying like, no, don't do this to yourself. Don't do this to yourself and fall into the traps of everybody else. Yes. Have the money to pay the bills, you know, take the job, you know, to pay the bills, work on your dreams, work on what you desire, but make sure you are secure because it is no fun. Believe me, I know to be in, in financial chaos. I mean, bill collectors, everything like that, that, that is not a good place to be. So know here that don't give up on your dreams and you are abundant, but we might have to be a little bit practical you know, during this time to say, okay, this is how I'll move forward step by step by step. I will get there. And with the devil energy, there could be a sense of like, well, I don't get to have my dreams anymore. Stop that. Stop that. Okay. I don't like that. The answers you need are coming in wisdom. We're feeling fatalistic. I mean, there is a sensitivity to us that is coming out, that energy of the new moon and, and the solar eclipse making us question ourselves. You know, we don't feel like the ans answers are coming. We don't feel like the wisdom is here because we're having a trouble we're having trouble trusting our own hearts trusting our own desires step back we're thinking wisdom is being like absolutely profound right wisdom is being profound no wisdom is the fact like I'll use me for example when i was little all the the old ladies would wear really 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 long clo coats and it would be cold it would be in new york city like it would be cold and i always think oh my gosh you know that's just that's just what old ladies wear, you know? And I was like, I'm never going to wear a really long coat because that's just what old ladies wear. Fast forward to now, my mom got me this really long coat. And we live, you know, in New England where it's cold. And <laughs> I wore it. And I was like, why? Why did I not wear these coats earlier? Because I thought they were old lady coats. They're the warmest, most wonderful thing in the whole entire world. That's wisdom. They were wise. I was stupid, you know? So embracing that and realizing little things are wisdom. We're going to want here, you know, things to be profound. We're not taking time to breathe out. It's very easy to embrace the masculine during this time. The masculine en energy of the Hierophant, the masculine energy of Aries, don't let it overpower you, okay? Embrace the masculine, balance with the masculine, move forward with the masculine, okay? It's going to be the sacred masculine. It's going to be absolutely perfect for you. But moving to the warlike energy, it can be very easy. So just be aware of this. You're not taking time to breathe out. You need to. You need to take time to breathe out and to connect with yourself. You're going to be like, I can just push it through. You can't. You can't. You need time to just connect. Sovereignty. This moon is blessing you. Okay. This is a time. This is a time to give rather than take. And this has come up a lot reverse. This is a time to take what you need, to fill your cup, to make sure that you're okay, to be able to move forward. The moon is guiding you. Things have changed. Gratitude. Meditate and contemplate. Meditate and contemplate on gratitude. Go to sleep. I was listening to this person and he said he goes to sleep listing all the things that he's grateful for. He goes hour by hour. And he says, usually by the time he gets to 12 o'clock, he's drifting off to sleep. And he's kind of ensuring also he has really good dreams. And I thought that was beautiful. Do that. Do things that bring you gratitude, that bring you joy, that fill up your cup. That's going to be really important as you move forward. Meditating and contemplating, we're not going to want to do it. We want to, to, we want to work. We want to achieve. We want to succeed. Meditating and contemplating is going to be important. And that level of gratitude, that level of grace of heart. Believe in the impossible as we embrace the darkness of this new moon and the solar eclipse but we have this reversed. We're going to think, no, I can't believe in the impossible. You know, I can't, I can't. Spirit's like, this is the time. This is the moon. You know, the new moon is the time to set the intentions. This is the time to set the intentions that you think are like unbelievable, wild, just like completely out there. Set the intentions and say, this is what I'm going to do. And now this is the time. You know, 2023 is about all about demolition. It's all about tearing down the old. 2024, it's all about the reinstating. It's like, it's all about instating the new. And this is going to be a time where we really look at things and say, you know what? No, no to this, no to that. The impossible, we have to stop saying the impossible isn't possible. It is. 
believe in the impossible. Set those intentions that just seem wild out there, unbelievable, and go after it. Go after it. Go after it, Virgo. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is rebirth, reversed. We don't feel like we're being reborn. We feel stuck, and that's okay. That's one of the fears that this moon and the solar eclipse will bring up. Is it never going to change? Am I always going to be stuck? Understand this. It moves us to our subconscious spirit message, which is nature. We need to get out in nature. This is nature reverse. And we need to embrace our own nature. I mean, not if it's not if it's harmful or hateful, but our nature. We need to truly embrace ourselves and what we love and, and who we are. Our subconscious message from the tarot is the six of swords. We're apprehensive. We're a little bit afraid of something. We need to acknowledge what that is. There's a sense of I need to move forward, but I'm really scared. It's okay. Be scared and still move forward. It's okay. We're insecure. And that's okay. Saying I'm insecure in this journey, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing shameful with that. Our subconscious Luna message is resistance. And the energy is gaining momentum. We have resisted so much. You know, we have the resistance to keep on growing. We've tried to, they've tried to squish us down, the world, life, you know, everything, but we keep going. Your energy is gaining momentum. That's reversed. We feel tired. We feel overwhelmed. It's like, oh no, it's not gaining momentum, not getting where I need to be. No, it is. It is. You are gathering up so much power. You keep on growing. Embrace it. Embrace it. Stop comparing yourself to everybody else. That's when you lose the way, race. Embrace what you love, what you desire, and what you need. And you will shine. All right. All right, Virgo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time, of this profoundly magical, special, intense time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Virgo. May blessings and prosperity always be with you during this profoundly intense, powerful time. I wish you nothing but the absolute best, absolute best. May success be with you always. I love you all. Bye.